Good morning, everybody. Welcome. It is August the 11th, Technique Tuesday today. I hope you're okay. My name is Karen. I'm here with Get Moving, and we are here to help people with mobility issues to exercise, to get uh, to move better, to get fitter, stronger, stuff like that. Don't forget, I'm going to ramble here a little bit just to let everyone uh, tune in and everything. We're here every uh, weekday morning at 11 o'clock. Uh, if you're not sure what Get Moving is or what it's all about or what we do, don't forget, up there, somewhere in the description, there is a link to the Get Moving website, www.reesfitness.co.uk slash Get Moving. Go have a click there. You'll find out everything you need to know about Get Moving and what we do, who we do it to and why and all that kind of stuff. You will also find up there uh, the blog post I, I stuck up there a couple of weeks ago um, suggesting uh, giving recommendations about any home exercise equipment or kit you might want. If you want to do some more stuff at home that uh, does more with your body and helps you in various ways and you want a bit of kit, um, very cheap, very effective kit, um, click on the link. It'll, uh, it's got my recommendations there. Um, mostly things like resistance bands, and balls, things like that. Things that are going to be very useful. Um, we are going to be using the resistance band again in training today. And it is Technique Tuesday. So at the end, afterwards, we're going to go over a technique, a particular exercise technique in a bit more in depth. Um, and that will also involve a resistance band. So if you've got your resistance band, go get it now. Like yesterday, it wants to be anchored onto something which is not, or someone, which is not going to move. So get yourself set up, and because uh, we'll be doing that in a bit, okay? <clears throat> Excuse me. So yes, these exercises are suitable for pretty much everybody. Whether you're seated, whether you're standing, um, they are good for uh, helping people with disabilities, mobility issues, uh, injuries in rehab to get moving. Um, pretty much anyone can do them common thing I hear, I know I've said this before, common thing I hear is people say, ah, oh, I can't do them, I can't exercise, I'm too old, injured, whatever. And they're all wrong. Every time someone says that to me, I'm, I'm sorry, they're wrong. <laughs> I'm right, they're wrong. So give it a go, all right? Anyway, that's enough rambling for now, I think. It is time to get started. So don't forget, I hope you've got your resistance band ready. We'll be doing that halfway through the session. In the meantime, though, everybody marching on the spot to start off with. It just gets the ball rolling, gets things moving. So, you probably know this already, but I'll tell you just in case. I am going to do roughly 20 repetitions of these exercises. In that time, you do as many or as few as you are happy with. If you're really good, do lots more. If you're not so good today, do fewer. But you do what you can do. That is the key thing. So, marching on the spot, if you are seated, getting your legs up like so, marching away. If you are standing, same idea, marching away, getting your legs up like so. Again, I'm gonna do about 20, you do what you can. I hope you're ready, because I certainly am, and we're, going to get, and we're going to get going now. So in three, two, one, off we go. Marching on the spot, knees up, nice, as high as you can. So, Again, a lot of people go, oh, that's too difficult. It's not too difficult for you. You can do these, even if we start down there. We start as easy as we need, and we gradually build it up. Because we get good at what we do. If we always do nothing, we get very good at doing nothing. But if we get good, if we do something, we get good at doing something. That's our first 20. It is as simple as that. It really is that easy. So. Shoulders are next. So whether you are seated or whether you are standing, you're going to roll your shoulders back like so, or if you can, making a bigger move as you can, rolling your arms back like so. Again, I'm going to do about 20. You do what you can. In three, two, one, off we go. Rolling the shoulders. Nice big moves. Slowly but surely, get your elbows up higher. A bigger move is a better move if you can. Arms up, if you can, arms brushing against your ears there, and then pin your shoulder blades right back. A nice, expansive move. We're after getting your shoulder blades mobile. Shoulder blades, those two bones on the upper back there, those two flat bones, 
we want to feel them moving around on your upper back they pinch together there they relax and then they pinch together again on the way back down there you want to feel lots of work lots of effort in that upper back so this I think is 15 so we're nearly there keep on going again do as big a move as you can I'm gonna do around about 20 you do more you do less you do whatever you can but you make sure you do it and then we're on to 19 I think and 20 very good so hopefully it's got your upper body moving nicely next bit knee bends so if you're seated stay put you're gonna kick your feet out like so bending and straightening your knees using these muscles the front of your thighs there if you are standing it's the same idea by kicking your heels back behind you like so again 20 ish times in three two one off we go kicking them back nice big moves as big as you can the key thing is you're moving you're not staying still because again following the principle that we get good at what we do if we just spend all day sat down doing little we're going to get really good at not a lot however if we move in lots of different ways the details are less important as long as it's lots and as long as it's lots of different ways we're going to get good at lots of different things that's something i really want to be good at lots of things that's 20. so what's next twisting sarah's favorite ah oh, god i got a lot of stick yesterday because i i swapped out an exercise for for twists yesterday oh i got a lot of stick so twists are back again today if you're seated or standing nice and tall fold your arms go one way and then go the other way 20 times nice big moves three two one off we go big twist big twist all the way around and all the way around again the bigger the move the better so keeping on going and we're halfway there so we're moving the spine so if you have a sore back a stiff back this kind of thing is gonna be really good at helping it move helping loosen it up helping it do things that a back should be able to do that is number 20 dead simple so what's next the double tap so if you're seated the knee raises again but your job now is to sit nice and tall don't slouch back well to be honest excuse me to be honest your job is to sit nice and tall regardless but especially now the double tap is when we're sat tall and the knee comes up twice and the same on the other side twice seen from the side it is not collapsing back there you're going to sit up and away pretend there's no backrest behind you have a big gap behind you stay tall and then raise your knees if you're standing it's the same idea but balancing staying on uh, one foot as we do this a double tap there and a double tap there balancing on one foot get yourself ready in three two one away we go on one side and on the other side easier version as always to make a smaller move so if you have to the target is down there give that a go a small quick move this is level one if you need to just get used to that spend as much time as you need getting used to that days weeks whatever but slowly but surely you start raising that target up make it an inch higher a tiny bit higher and over the weeks over the months that target gets higher still until without even realizing it you've gotten into a big double tap move there that is 20 flies by okay then now i'm gonna get a stick off anna now because we're gonna get rid of all well we're gonna uh, avoid the side bends for a moment we're gonna do the band row so we've got our resistance band remember it is anchored somewhere over there onto something or someone solid i've got it attached to my big metal rack here that's not moving you can attach it to a banister a heavy table a person who's not moving whatever and from there 
you're going to be facing it, sat down or stood up, your choice. You can use both arms if you like, and you're going to roll back, stretch the band and relax, stretch the band and relax. Or what I'm going to do, use one arm, stretch it back and relax, stretch it back and relax. I'm going to do 10 on one side and also 10 on the other side. You can do all 20 with both hands. You mix and match however you like, but we're going to do 20 in total and I'm going to swap over halfway. So seated or standing, facing the solid anchor, hold on to your band. Don't let your body collapse. Sit or stand tall. The elbow and the shoulder are going to pull back, stretch the band in three, two, one. Off we go. Stretch the band back and relax. Stretch it and relax. So again, this is using the upper back, strengthening your upper back. Uh, particularly good for things like posture, where the shoulders tend to collapse forwards. We are going to make sure that shoulder is back there and using the muscles in our upper back, our shoulder blades there, to make sure they are strong enough to do that and to hold ourselves up. This is a very simple but very effective way of strengthening that upper back and teaching us good posture. So that's 10. So I'm going to swap over and I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Chest out, shoulders back, sitting or standing tall. Your choice which. It can be done either way. I'm not fussed. But your chest is out, shoulders back, and we're going to stretch the band and stretch the band again. And again, we're teaching the body how to sit or stand tall in a good posture and not get oh, dragged forwards there. Okay. So this, I think, is number 19 and 20. Job done. Fantastic. There we go. So moving on to squats, the legs. So sit stands or squats. If you are seated, we don't need the band anymore, so you can leave that over there somewhere. If you are seated, make sure your body weight is forward over your feet. Push down hard, stand nice and tall, and then sit back and down onto your seat. And you'll repeat that as often as you can in the time it takes me to do 20, okay? If you are standing, squats. So again, a, um, uh, an imaginary chair behind you, feet flat, chest out, sit the bum back and down onto that imaginary chair and stand up. And again, we're gonna do 20-ish of them. In three, two, one, off we go. Squats, nice big leg movements. The hips and knees are bending and working hard, but we're thinking about the muscles in our legs, the muscles in our bum. They're the ones that are doing the work. We bend down to a, a low seat and stand tall. Now again, the, the, the bigger the move, the lower the seat, the harder. You decide how low and how nasty the move is. If you need to make it easier, by all means, just make it a small move like so. Gradually, bit by bit, you send your butt down lower, like so. Now that's 15, so we've got five left. Now again, you may or may not keep up with me. It doesn't matter whether you do one of these, five of these, 20 or 25, it doesn't matter. You do what you can and make sure those legs are working hard. That is number 20, outstanding. Okay, tightrope walking. So if you're seated, we're gonna be removing your ankles. Heel, toe, heel, toe. Heel, touch the floor, toe, touch the floor. Heel, toe, heel, toe. And the same on both legs, okay? If you're standing, balance time again. Best done, as always, along the side of a uh, side of a table or, sorry, let me get sort my cable out. Side of a table, back of a sofa. If you balance a little bit iffy, uh, feet apart is easier. Feet narrow is harder. Everybody with me now, we're going to walk forward, heel toe, heel toe. Off we go. So we're going to walk on an imaginary tightrope along the wall. Up, along the wall? What are we, Spider-Man? No, along the floor, okay? Imaginary tightrope along the floor there. 
and we're, we're, gonna, we're gonna walk heel toe and now we're gonna go the same thing going backwards but of course now it's toes heels toes heels moving along quite nicely keeping our balance as best we can wobble as much as you want arms out to stabilize if you want and the second time is going to be better so we're moving forwards again heel toe heel toe so yes the arms are out to the side there helping us balance wobble as much as you want not wobbling is no good we want to have a wobble on wobbling is good for us and last time now going backwards toes heels toes heels and again along that imaginary tightrope painted along the floor uh, as I said last week sometime if you want go ahead and paint a, a line on your carpet it's okay I'm sure people won't mind I'm sure oh, I've run out of room so that's it very nicely done okay last couple of exercises time to get out of breath fast feet to start off with we're gonna do this two loads of 10 seconds so our feet if we're seated running on the floor like that brrr, really nice and quick if we are standing again running on the floor moving your feet nice and fast two loads of 10 seconds hopefully you can start getting your breathing up so get yourself ready in three two one off we go running on the spot getting the feet up nice and quick tapping on the floor there we go that's 10 seconds first time is always the worst time the second time is always better so get yourself ready in two one off we go running on the spot again getting the feet up whoops i'm losing my rhythm there keep them going keep them going there we go 10 seconds done again and then to finish off everyone's favorite shadow boxing if you're seated arms up punching away have an imaginary person in front of you something you don't like your boss from work whatever punch them nice and hard punch them fast in the head in the body if you're standing exactly the same idea but get your feet moving as well punching away moving your feet back and forth in and out moving all the time three loads of 20 seconds are you ready in three three two one off we go shadow boxing so hands moving punching to the head height punching body height halfway there so keep yourself going moving back and forth left and right in and out time 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 that's round one hopefully your breathing is getting up this is all about getting you out of breath three two one off we go getting out of breath again punching away punching high punching low punching round punching up for 10 more seconds if your feet can move back and forth move them back and forth keep them going time 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 and we've got one more to do one last round again getting you nicely out of breath in three two one off we go last 20 seconds you can change the direction you're facing you can go around to one side if you like or around to the other side for 10 more seconds keep yourself going keep your heart rate up keep yourself huffing and puffing moving punching and where we go and there we go time that is it fingers crossed you are nicely out of breath that is what we're after and as always that is our exercise for the morning fingers crossed you're feeling a little bit better a little bit more awake a little bit more alive now than you did 20 minutes ago so have a seat have a drink get your breath back for a sec i am going to go on now to tell you or to show you go into a bit more in depth with an exercise that you can do at home now we've done so far we've been using this week we're using the resistance bands lots so we're gonna i'm gonna show you the bow and arrow exercise very simple 
very basic, very good for upper body, especially back, especially posture. I bang on a lot about posture because especially if we are seated for a while, if we spend a lot of our time seated, it is totally natural for us to start collapsing and slouching down in the seat like so. We don't want that, that's not good for us. We wanna be able to sit or stand tall. This is good posture. And a massive amount of that of getting these shoulders back. That's why I bang on so much about pulling those shoulders back because it's good for any, well, it's good for all of us, but especially for people who are sat down for a while. So we're gonna be using the resistance band again. Let me unta undo it over here. There are two versions. There's the two arm version and there's the one arm version. I'm gonna show you the two arm version first of all, okay? It's called the bow and arrow and you'll see why when I show you the two arm version. So I've got a resistance band here, okay? It's nice and stretchy. Um, imagine you are Robin Hood, William Tell, some random archer that you know about, Hawkeye from the movies, whatever. You are gonna hold on to your imaginary, let me get you in, get me in shot a bit more. We're gonna hold on to an imaginary bow out there. So imagine I'm holding a bow there. Then I would normally just grab all the string and draw it back and then pew, shoot me arrow. That's your thinking pattern, okay? You're gonna be holding on to your imaginary bow, which in this case is a resistance band. We're gonna hold on to the resistance band here to make it easier, have a lot of slack here, okay? To make it harder, have a lot less slack, okay? So that's harder and that's easier, okay? But you're gonna hold on to your bow, hold on to your imaginary bit of string, and then you're gonna draw your bow back all the way, and then under control, you recover, okay? So hold your bow, hold, your, hold the string, draw the bow back, keep it close to your body here, and then under control, return. So as you're doing that, you want to be feeling your shoulder blades behind you pinching together. So see if you can see this. I'm holding onto my bow there, and then I want to draw my shoulder blades back, pinch them together, and then relax. I'll do that one more time. Pinch the shoulder blades together, and then relax. So that's the bow and arrow. We're thinking about sitting or standing tall and drawing our shoulder blades back together. Of course, what we do on one side, we would do exactly the same on the other side. Hold on with our other hand, draw the other arm back, drawing the bow back and forth. Okay? Bows and arrows, really good for upper back posture, strengthening ourselves there. That's the two arm version called a bow and arrow because it looks very much like a bow and arrow. The one arm version is virtually identical. All we would do though is again, we'd have to attach this band to something solid. I'm gonna to attach to my metal rack over here. So it could be, you might attach it to a banister or something like that, or again, a heavy solid table, something which is not gonna move. But you attach it to something over there, shoulder height. So the anchor point here, don't know, you can't quite see it, it's out of shot, but the anchor point is the same height as my shoulder, okay? So in this case, this arm is not being used. This arm is, okay? And I would hold onto my string and then draw the bow back. Relax, I would draw the bow back. So I'm using only one side, this side's not doing anything. To make it easier, I would just be closer to the anchor. That's quite easy. To make it harder, I would be further away. So I have to stretch it a little bit more and relax. But the principle is exactly the same. The shoulder blade pinching back and then relax and recover. Pinch back, relax and recover. So that's the one arm version. 
of the bow and arrow. Your choice which one you do, give them a go. But as I say, we're gonna be using more and more of these, uh, these bits of kit, resistance bands, balls, we're gonna be using more and more of them over the weeks because I wanna give you as much options as possible. If you have any questions about this exercise or any of the ones we've just done, please in the comments below, stick any questions you want down there, or you can get in touch with me via the website up there, www.reesfitness.co.uk slash get moving. Get in touch with me there. Um, you can ask any questions you want. Um, of course, I am a, a professional coach. Um, you can also hire me if you want me to work with you one-to-one. -one. You can do it face-to-face, -face, over the internet, your choice. Get in touch with me that way. And there's a share button down there. You know the drill by now. Share it out all everywhere. Uh, there's a donate button up there. If you want to check me a buck, fantastic. Thank you very, very much if you want to do that. Thank you so much. But we will be back again tomorrow on Wobble Wednesday. Like I mentioned before, wobbling is good for balance. So we're going to work on balance again tomorrow. Wobble Wednesday tomorrow at 11 o'clock. We will see you there. Thank you very much, boys and girls. As always, it really is lovely doing this with you. Thank you very much. I will see you again tomorrow and see you in person soon, hopefully. Fingers crossed. See you later. Bye-bye.